Hey, what's up, Instagram? It's been a minute. I have not been super active on here the last couple weeks. Um, we just started our Level Up Challenge. Level Up is my self-guided program, but we're doing a challenge this month. And the first month of Level Up on the mindset part of things is about relationship with your body and relationship with food. Um, this has been coming up for me. It came up on some of my client calls today. A friend of mine did a post about this. So it's just like, it just keeps coming in. And when stuff keeps coming in, I'm like, all right, let's talk about it. So I think honestly, like one of the worst things that happened in terms of our relationship with our body was the mirror. <laughs> and then on top of it, we have the scale. And then on top of it, we have uh, media and people contorting their bodies and all sorts of different angles. And now that's what you're supposed to look like. And there's this hyper focus on what we look like. And any health endeavor you do, if it's based only on how you look, I promise you that you will never, ever get there. You will never, there will never be enough. That's why we have so many uh, physique competitors, bikini competitors, bodybuilders, they might look like a spectacle to you. You're like, where could you possibly be trying to go from here? But when aesthetics is the focus, I mean, there's, it's never enough. And that's why we have professional level bodybuilders on so many freaking drugs. It's not even funny because it's just, it's never enough. And aesthetics, I'm telling you, if that is what's driving you on your health journey, you're off. You're off course. It is about how we feel. And that will also translate onto, into your food choices. So if you're trying to get on a health journey based off of like food is now only dependent on this is only matters about how I look. <laughs> that's when you end up with things like restrictive mindsets, binging, you know, all of these kind of destructive behaviors because you've totally disconnected yourself from how is this food going to make me feel? How do I feel when I eat that food? All right. So a health journey Health is about how we feel. So we need to, I think, you know, if you're obsessed with the scale, if you're like picking yourself apart in the mirror, stop. Stop looking at yourself in the mirror and picking yourself apart. Stop weighing yourself. Who gives a shit? I was telling one of my clients today, I'm like, I don't know what I weigh. I'm usually somewhere between 145, 150 pounds. I don't, what, why does that matter? <laughs> why does that matter? Really though? Why is that a measure of anything? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Does it change how you feel on the daily? Like get all of this outside how I look, what I look like in pictures, how I look, what my number is on the scale and tune in. How do I feel in my body? Make all of your decisions based off of that. If we were like in living more primitively, <laughs> Do you think people would give a crap about what their number is on some scaly thing? No, they want to know that they can go like get far, that they can go hunt for food, that they have energy to take care of what they need. That's the only thing you're going to be thinking about with your body is how do I feel? You're going to be trying new foods that you found out in the wild and you're going to be like, um, let me see. Okay, good, good. <laughs> This is safe. Actually, I like how I feel when I eat that, right? Food is for energy. Food is, if you can switch your focus on t for food choices into how do I feel after I eat that thing, it gets so easy because you notice like, okay, if I eat a bunch of processed crap, like, dude, I just don't feel on point today. I just don't. So the temptation or whatever to eat, it's not like that anymore. It's like, I don't want to feel like shit. And sometimes it might be like, okay, I, it's worth it to me. I'm wor I feel, it's, I'm okay with feeling a little shitty today to eat that thing. And that's a cool, but the frequency of that is going to be so much less frequent. It's going to be so much more like, I like how I feel when I eat steak and vegetables and fatty goodness. What's up, Ryan? Ryan's doing his keto journey. We got Ryan Rose Evans on here. Let's go. Yeah. So if you can switch off of this stupid aesthetic focus, and that's what happens is we see all these people and we're like, I want to look like that. And it disconnects us from ourselves and how we feel. <laughs> so take, get rid of this, like tune into yourself, meditate, right? Like get centered. Be like, how do I feel in my body? Do I like this? And start making your decisions in health on like, Dude, you know what? I feel really weak. I feel like I can't even like pick up anything. I need to get stronger. I want to be able to pick up stuff. 
Okay, cool. Because that impacts how you feel on your day to day. But if you're all of you're doing whatever you're doing in the gym and whatever you're eating is just based on like, mm, 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 it's so unfulfilling and you will never, it will never end. It will always be a dangling carrot because it could always be better. And this is how we have people like literally ruin their lives over this. It takes over people's lives. It's just like nothing matters as much as that. And it's all wounded behavior. It comes from a wound at some point. <laughs> I'm not enough. And so I got to do this stuff so I can be enough. No. you, I am enough already. And so that's why I choose things that are self-honoring to me. So I can feel good because I love me. <laughs> um, what makes your heart happy will fuel your motivation. Yeah. Yeah, it's about like... Honoring yourself with good food and nutrition, honoring yourself in your workouts to see what you're capable of and go have fun and like make it fun. Not like, oh, I got to do two hours of cardio so I don't get fat. So I got to work off those cookies. No, that is the pathway to misery. But if you're doing cardio because you're like, dude, yeah, I like how I feel after this. I get a rush. I get all these epiphanies that come into my mind. Like, this is awesome. Like you'll be, you'll be more prone to do it more often because it's a positive experience for you. Yeah. I, you, we are enough. It, it, I, like it, honestly, even saying we're enough is such an insult. We're way more than enough. <laughs> we're like these divine freaking beings that incarnate on this planet that are like tapped into source energy. Like we're more than enough. Enough is like baseline shit baseline <laughs> like yeah 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 you're enough you're way more than that and when we tap into ourselves and we go inside and we give ourselves that that's where all the power comes from and then we shine and we're more generous and we give because we don't we don't need to take we don't need validation we don't need to be enough we don't need to earn it we don't spin our wheels doing all these behaviors that cause us to feel crazy and overwhelmed because we're proving that we're enough at work we're proving that we're enough in our relationships we're proving that our bodies are enough like it's exhausting when we know that and give ourselves that we choose actions that are self honoring <laughs> um Let's see. I lifted tonight for the first time in a long time. It hurt, but it felt good. Yeah. And like, and when you, and that is so awesome. And when you get back into, if you're going back to the gym, like get in that energy of like, I know I'm freaking powerful and I might be starting from scratch here because I haven't done that for a long time, but like, dude, good for me, you know, give yourself that <laughs> top of the morning from Northern Ireland, Ireland. Thank you. Yeah. Give yourself, like, it's about honoring ourselves because we know who we are. We know our power. Do you know your power? Have you given yourself that in a minute? It's a shame. It's sad that many of us will live our whole lives like not ever giving that to ourselves, robbing ourselves of the joy of life because we just won't allow ourselves to see ourselves and our power. So go inside, meditate, get silent speak nicely to yourself. Like it's like the angel and the devil, right? Thing like let the one, the angel one, the one that's like, dude, good for you. Good job. Do what's right by you. Yes. You need sleep. Go ahead and sleep. You need food. Go ahead and eat food. You need exercise. Let's go. You got this like a self empowering, self supportive, self coaching energy. Like you stay in that mode. There's nowhere to like really go. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, like I'm so down here and I have to go somewhere else and we disconnect. It's like, no, I am very happy with where I'm at. Good for me. And I'm going to continue to choose actions that are honoring of myself. So, um, one of my friends, like I said, in the beginning of this, one of my friends posted a, did a post the other day and she was, um, basically saying that <laughs> she's like, uh, I just want to make it clear that, Oh, hold on. Oh shit. I got <laughs> I pulled up in my garage and uh, turned my car off. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's loud. So she was saying like, I don't, I just want to make it clear that I don't go lift in the gym so that my body can look a certain way to appease men or appease other people. I do it because I like going in there and feeling like a bad A. And I was like, A freaking men. It is not going and getting fit or eating well. It's not for other people. 
is for you. It's not to earn value through your body for other people to be pleased with you. It's for you to feel good. That's it. End of story. Period. <laughs> so I hate this like disconnection from self. It's it's so prominent. It's like I'm not enough and I just all I got to do is prove to everybody that I am. Like sorry, but fuck that shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's so off. It's I see myself and I'm going to choose things that are honoring of me because I love me. And you get on a freaking scale and now you are all of a sudden you're disconnected from self because some there you're supposed to have some other number on there. That's freaking stupid. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's my message. It's just like, don't forget who you are. Don't forget that you are like divinity incarnate and a bunch of molecules that are spinning together really closely <laughs> so that you can feel things and have like Becca, what's up girl? I was just talking about your posts the other day or yesterday, maybe talking about people trying to act like we're getting fit so we can look a certain way for them. No, <laughs> sorry. It's not for you guys. It's for me. <laughs> so own that, you know? And the last thing I'll just say is like, give yourself a break sometimes. Be nice to yourself. Like, I can't tell you how many people I've worked with, like they shame themselves for sleeping. Holy shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, man, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I slept in today. I'm like, oh, you were tired. <laughs> okay. You know, we're like, somebody said we're like the only, uh, animal, we're the, like the only mammals that shame, that don't let ourselves sleep. <laughs> like other mammals, they sleep all throughout the day. We're like, oh, I got five hours last night. Freaking lazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You're worthy of sleep. You're worthy of food. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of your own love. You're worthy of your own acceptance. You know, I need to hear this. Just got an abusive relationship and this speaks words. Yeah, man. And you know what? I've been in abusive relationships before. And it's the healing aspect of that. The reason that we are in, that any of us are in abusive relationships is because we don't see ourselves right? We, we're not giving that to ourselves. We're not saying, Hey, like what is okay and not okay with me and voicing that. And it usually comes from childhood trauma, right? We weren't allowed to, to voice those things or we didn't feel as kids that we were allowed to voice those things. And it, it just takes that moment of being like, how do I actually feel here? And I'm going to show up for me. And that comes with anything, like fitness, work, like whatever. It's like, how am I actually feeling here? Okay, like no one else is going to like tell me to show up for me. Like I have to show up for me. And this is just how I feel. And and own that. You know, like um if you haven't read the fifth agreement um from Don Miguel Ruiz and his son, it's after the four agreements, many of you have probably read that if you haven't read the four agreements, like you got to read that book. It's like a fundamental book in personal development in my opinion. But in the fifth agreement, they talk about like watching a movie of yourself and like you are the main character of your movie, your life. You're the only one that's going to be in that movie the entire time. You and you. Everybody else is side characters. Think, think how many people were in your life 10, 15, 20 years ago that aren't there anymore. <laughs> but you are. You're still with you. So at the end of the day, when we betray ourselves and we abandon ourselves in relationships to please people, like 10 years from now, they might not even be in your life. So it's like, it's up to us to show up for us and what feels right to us. What feels right for us. That goes back to my original conversation of food, choices, exercise, how we spend our time. Like, what do I want? I gave two clients that assignment today. I was like, I want you to just get a piece of paper and at the top of it, write, what do I need? And just dump whatever comes out. What do I need? It's a, it's a really worthwhile exercise. What do you need? I see what pops up. It might be sleep. It might be, I need to get away from that freaking person. It might be, I need to switch my career. Like I'm freaking dying in this thing, whatever it is. Like what I need boundaries. I need time to myself. <laughs> All right. What do you need? And yeah, at the end of the day, it's just, it's about honoring ourselves. Everything, health, 
is about honoring yourself. It's not about punishing yourself and disconnecting from yourself and like being mean to yourself. I cannot, like, I would say most people endeavor in a health journey in the energy of self abuse. It's like, oh, come on, be better. Stop it. Why do you do that? But it's like, it's, it's so cruel. And it lead, that's what leads to uh, self defeating behaviors. Because you're dealing with an abusive dictator that's you towards you. And you're going to rebel against that crap. But when you're kind and loving to yourself and self-supportive and you're like, dude, you can have cookies and pizza. Do you want them? You can start making, I would say, mature adult decisions. All right. It's like, okay, yeah, I know I can have that. Okay. Maybe I choose that today. Or maybe I don't. Like, what could I have instead that will help me feel better? Because I don't really love how I feel when all I eat is pizza and cookies. All right. So like mm, today, yeah, I'm going to have something else. Yeah. I'd rather feel better. So it's about how we feel, not how we look. The aesthetic goal thing has, um, mm, it has like robbed a lot of joy from people's souls. So get quiet, feel your body. Do you like how it feels inside your own body? If not say, okay, body, what do you need me to do? I'm in this with you. What do you need? I need you to walk. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then it, it's, then it's the time to show up for you. All right. I need you to go to sleep earlier. I need you to stop staying up till midnight watching Netflix. I, can you do that for me? And then that's the time for you to show up for you. And the more you show up for you, oh man, we were talking about abusive relationships earlier. The more you're used to showing up for you, the easier it gets. The more you treat yourself well, you won't tolerate it when other people don't treat you well. It's like, no, <laughs> I, that's not how it operates in here. Like I treat myself well and like, this is a foreign way that you're treating me. But when we mistreat ourselves, it's okay. Yeah. This is comfortable. I'm, I'm used to being mistreated. So I don't I'll just let everybody else walk all over me. So it starts with ourselves, honoring ourselves, seeing ourselves, nurturing ourselves, supporting ourselves. What do I need? So if this is any of this is resonating with you, just brain dump on your phone or on a piece of paper. Like, what do I need? And that is something I ask my body a lot. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I'm making up crap, <laughs> but I'll be like, I'll, I'll just spend meditation. I'll be like, what do you need? And like last time I checked, I, it was B vitamins. I was like, okay, sweet. I started taking my B complex again. I started feeling really good. So I'm, maybe it was legit. Ask your body what it needs. It might be like, I need you to stop running so much and freaking, freaking messing up the knee. Okay. Can you give the knee a break? Okay. <laughs> Can you, can you give yourself what it needs? Can you get past these patterns and, you know, and just like give yourself what you actually need? So that's my message tonight. All right. Thanks for joining me guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye.